All right, folks, the stip is pizza toppings. Was the pizza topping stip me even mean? We're going to draft cards that um, you would put on a pizza. Maybe you even just draft cards that remind you of pizza, like that force negation, all right? Mm. People put shark on pizza, right? People definitely put shark on pizza. Not me. I would not. <laughs> Whatever Thraven Inspector is holding. <laughs> is that a pizza topping? <laughs> Should I go for Thraven's wall gunk? <laughs> Whatever the fuck Flash is. <laughs> put, that, put that in the pizza. Is Athari chicken? Athari's basically chicken. Hot and ready. Athari looks goddamn delicious. I'm just saying. Spicy chicken. Ice cream on a pizza? Fucking gross. I have seen dessert pizzas, though. Did anybody order sausage for this pizza? Huh? Huh? Anybody? Because the art looks like a, a a sausage. You gotta have sausage. That's a classic pizza topping. You gotta. Also salt. Oh yeah, basalt monolith. Absolutely. Skydiver's basically seafood. You can put seafood on a pizza. Liliana's just a snack. Not a pizza topping. If you wanted to, I wouldn't argue, though. Could top any time. Top, topping. Top, topping. You need some heat, huh? You could fucking put the pizza out to sun cook. Battlesphere? Battlesphere is just a mere pizza. <laughs> That's just what you got right here. Oh, speaking of sun sun baking. Baked Canyon? You gotta bake the pizza. It's got bake in the name. It's here. This is the pizza. Would you eat elephant on your pizza? I don't think I would. Elephants are pretty smart. Oliphant, however, if it's an extinct creature, I'd feel better about it. <laughs> or if it's a fantastical creature. Gross, veggies. Hey, HK57, things of 45 months. You literally just drafted this deck now? This deck? What, what, we don't even know what this deck is. Pizza toppings? You just drafted pizza toppings? Is that... <clears throat> this fantastical image, the chef. Teach me the way of the Tsar. Yeah, I think this is going to be a loose one, no matter how you uh, slice it. Wave. Like when you throw the dough up in the air. Kozlik is a butcher, slicing my meat. I'm, a, I'm into that. I'm into that. I buy it. Plateau is good. You need a nice flat countertop for spreading your pizza out. Oh, 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 the Thraven Inspector gunk came back around. Let's go. Let's fucking go. There's a pizza topping and a half right there. <clears throat> a little bit wary of bats. I don't think I don't think I don't think that's where it's at. Ooh, 
What was that? What was that disease that got spread by like scavenged bush meat? Oh, I just remember. Just remembered how to make a pizza. I think it was Ebola. I think I was thinking about Ebola. Hypothesized that it could have been bats. That looks like a pizza cooking to me. Cook it up. You need the flame. Is she inspecting the pizza? Is she studying the ways of the Za? Quality assurance pizza. She's verifying before it gets sent out. That Vanguard. That Vanguard's hunting pizza toppings. I don't think there's anything less pizza-like than a coat. This is the pizza box when I get done with it. Unexpectedly absent. You come in the room, ask where all the pizza went. I'm just talking with my mouth full. Oh. Oh, holy shit. Did y'all see this uh, this donation for the pizza topping stip? I was distracted, so I didn't even see. Ch Chai Digital donated $69. Nice. Thanks, Chai. That's very generous. Cheers. Yeah, this is a very unfortunate pack, because we have to decide which is more pizza topping, Soul Ring or Black Lotus. I feel like Soul Ring is more pizza looking, because it's the sphere. But Black Lotus does seem like more of a pizza topping, right? People use flowers as garnishes. Basically basil, right? Yeah, those big leaves. All right, all right. Seems pretty clear cut. I think I'm with chat there. Hmm. Got some gross pizza toppings in this pack. That's almost as bad as pineapple. Maybe just a place to cook the pizza, huh? That looks kind of oven-ish. How's Kozilek pizza topping? Kozilek is the butcher, butchering the meat for the pizza toppings. It was it was a rough pack. <laughs> I think Rizzo Saga is the pizza delivery. Look at the art. He's even holding a fucking pizza. Like, when you play the Urza Saga, like, you're putting in the order. And then two turns later, you finally get your pizza. The Saga is the pizza, like, actually getting to your place. Hmm. Some sun-dried tomatoes. Mindstone kind of looks like a, um, like a pepperoni. You also think Mindstone and Stone look like peppers? The sauce interpreter? Is Carnage Interpreter bringing the sauce? Is that what this is? Some sauce on the wall? <laughs> I'd eat pizza there. I think we found another sauce interpreter. We were just talking about how edible cicadas are. I'm sure someone's put them on a pizza. I think I'm going with the pizza parlor. You think Stoneforge is peeling apart a pizza? Oh, that's what the strands are between the 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 two um, sword stones there. That's mozzarella. The mozzarella strands. I kind of buy that. The cheese. You got to have the cheese pull or it's not a real pizza. This is how I feel when I've had a particularly good pizza. Religious experiment experience. 
Well, you need seasoning, right? You need seasoning on your fucking pizza. Orbs are certainly disc-shaped, Tom. Huh? Pizza-esque. Zerd is pretty steamy. How's Palantir not pizza? I think Palantir is pizza, but... It's not just pizza, right? It's pizza toppings. Let's Zerta this. Let's Zerta it up. I think Zerta would make a good pie. The yellow-orange cheese mixed with on top of a layer of sauce. Guts go on pizza? Guts are not going on this pizza. I'm just going to fucking veto that. I think you need treasure to buy a pizza. That's what I think. A pizza needs good balance, right? You got to balance all the different flavors. We got to oust the pineapple eaters from the from the pizza making. Oh, I've actually had uh, Euro meat. I've had Euro meat on pizza before. There's a pizza place nearby me where you can order that. Mcovino ten thanks for the subs. Thanks for thirty six months. Saying best streamer. Thanks for everything. Thank you, Mcovino. Thanks for thanks for supporting. Oh, she went up. Hey, Jerome Baritone. Thanks for the nineteen months there. Thank God we agree on the pineapple eaters. Hey, you do not actually want wind in your pizza. Terrible topping. I would trust Karn. I tried trust Karn. I guess as much as you would trust a robot. This is the automation in the pizza industry right there. Yeah, we do already have sausage. We do already have sausage for the pizza topping. Maybe we could get different kinds of sausage. Chicken? Sky chicken? You love a stink attack on your pizza? Well, that's just a surprise party right there. Pizza, a pizza sneak attack? Do you like to eat your pizza alone? I think this is the real pizza delivery right here. Through the beef? Through the beef? I kind of dig that. This could also be the pizza delivery. <laughs> Alright, I'm buying through the be through the beef. It's more topping-like than the actual delivery driver, right? I mean, Black Lotus was considered... We locked Black Lotus in as, um, as basil. Lotus Petal looks even more basil -y. The giants up there flattening some dough. Yeah. <laughs> Wooded foothills for wood fired pizza. I dig that. I dig that reasoning. Mm, the box when you throw it out. Generous Ed literally makes food. It's hard to turn down a food production in a food based step. Lotus Field has all the seasonings. Oh my. <laughs> Bleed Splicer cuts the pizza. I buy that. I buy that reasoning. Surely a volcano cooks a good pizza? I believe it does, yeah. Some generous toppings. Generous toppings. Any clear best options here? Yeah, I don't think anything, any of this screams pizza topping to me. Pyrite spell bomb. Does look a little pepperoni ish. Top for toppings. It's a little on the nose. Top for toppings. I don't know if I can get away from that. I don't know. Someone out there buying pizza. You do need currency to buy pizza. The council's deciding to have pizza for dinner. Don't they use some stone for some kind of pizza? Stone baked. Stone oven. A pizza stone? That's right. My brain wasn't quite getting there. Thanks for the helping out chat. <clears throat> Is Lelia going to slice the pizza for me? She's got the blade reforged. <laughs> oh. 
Jeez, more pineapple. You can probably cook pizza with lava. Pizza break, huh? Your favorite pizza place is closing Saturday, and that's a sad story. That's a bummer. Yeah, none of these are very topping-ish. Pizza cruise. Scavenging ooze is what you get when you free your pizza in the fridge. Yeah, that's floor pizza, huh? Pirate's Bubble's kind of pepperoni-ish. The sauce is lava. Oh, yeah, right out of the oven. I can see that. I can see that for sure. Spicy pepperoni. Yes, yes. Well, should we put this into a deck shell? Hey, what about limes? Things of 47 months. You think the spell bumps a pineapple? No, 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 no. No, we passed pineapple. That was Reign of Filth. Very different kind. Very different. You asked your roommate what his power and toughness would be, and he said four or five without a hint of, scent of, of irony. I mean, magic. The, the fucking characters on magic cards are very tiny. They're very small. Like, Ulamog's a fucking 10-10, but it's like just this fucking, you know... Like, if these are to scale, I could fucking... I could take an Ulamog... Just put it in a fucking jar of allspice and close the cap. Defeated. You're smaller than a soldier from magic. Let me see. All, 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 everything, every, every magic card's the same size. You're never, you're never getting more than this tall. Is Ulamog the little plastic cheese? No, 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 no. Ulamog is one, me when the pizza delivery is finally here. And two, I have had Euro meat on pizza. Quite often, actually. There's a Euro, there's a Euro slash pizza place. It's actually a chain. And you can order Euro meat on the pizza. And it's uh, quite good. It's, it's, it's a good topping. Should we play this extruder? Oh, shoot, what up? Hey, Blackfire, thanks for 51 months. Euro pizza sounds amazing. It's very good, yeah. Me, I'm supposed to cut Oust? Oust is a merry pizza -y. You want to invite people over for pizza. You don't want to kick people out. Terrible vibes, that Oust card. Hmm. Hey, look at Magda here. You should be able to sack a Black Lotus to make a 4-4 with Magda. <laughs> Three treasures stapled together. Deck looking kind of reasonable. From a gameplay perspective, we have enough early game artifacts that the Saga is going to be solid, and some nice tutor bowls, and two just for Black Lotus, right? And then since we're already juicing up Saga, the Karn's like not the worst thing ever. The uh, Zerda plus Basalt Monolith can get us Eldrazi mana, and then we also have this quote-unquote through the beef to get us there as well. well. There's just a couple other solid critters in there. It'd be cool to make a couple Saga tokens and then play Carnage Interpreter. I thought about going turn one Carnage Interpreter. If my opponent had played a one drop, I would go turn one unexpectedly absent Carnage Interpreter and just have the time of my life. But I think I'm just going to play turn two Saga now. Goat cheese on pizza. Interesting. I don't know if I've ever had goat cheese on pizza. 
what makes a good jardinera, huh? It's that's very similar to asking like what what makes a good um. I mean, it's like a, like a preference thing, right? Like some people prefer like a spicier jardinera, and some people prefer something that's milder. It, it's kind of like asking like what makes a good any vegetable, right? Like. Because that's all it is in the end of the day, is pickled vegetables. Really like the idea of absenting that talisman, but I'm kind of wondering if they might play something better for me to hit. All right, now I wish I'd hit the talisman. Oh my god, I get to tutor out the Black Lotus again. Incredible. <laughs> Good in evening to Hot Honey Enjoyers Only. Hot Honey is a tremendous, tremendous fucking pizza topping. Hot honey in orange chicken. I mean, that sounds goddamn delicious, too. I just ate dinner, and now chat's making me hungry again. I like Black Lotus. I like Currency Converter. Yeah, Currency Converter might be good to make sure I don't... Okay, okay, okay. Don't get cards stranded in my hand and not be able to carnage. So they have the One Ring Protection, so we're not going to serve this turn. I see what you did there, Mike. Do I like pineapple on pizza? Oh, of course. Pineapple on pizza is my favorite favorite way to waste perfectly good pizza. I am regretting not getting Black Lotus now. I'm not going to spit out this kind. We do get to fucking... I'm so sad. This Carnage Tyrant is so very blockable. It shouldn't be, right? Uh, if I gotten um, if I gotten Black Lotus instead of Converter, I not only would have had a, a menacing Carnage Interpreter, a menacing Sauce Inspector, as it were. But then we also would have been able to slam Karn there and down tick and get another Karn start going. Hot honey ruins pizza. I mean, if you if you do it poorly, one of the better artisanal um, pizza places in Madison has a hot honey pizza, and it's very good. Oh, the converter can gain life. Yeah, we have to play the pirate. Pump the constructs. There's something to holding it and seeing if they just don't block or whatever, but... Yeah, this is going poorly for me. The trading with the with the, I think that was super wrong. 
They could have just, like, taken it untapped, activated the one ring, and just, like, always life gained above the ring damage. Maybe, they, maybe they've got a reanimation effect for the shielded, which makes it just, like, a super good trade for them. They just, like, untap, take three, animate dead shielded, fucking easily win. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Isn't it great when you can, like, figure out exactly what your opponent has and it super doesn't matter because you're so dead? <laughs> I wonder if I would have won that game if I tutored up Black Lotus instead of Currency Converter. Opponent's deck is very good, by the way. I thought that was a kind of a strong start from ourselves. I don't think I'm supposed to crack the clue. I think I'm gonna, supposed to keep it around to uh, buff the um, Saga tokens. We'll see what they do. See what the opponent does here. It's got a lot more cards than I do. Show and tell here would be insane. The first two songs to learn on Sanx. I don't know why you're learning Sanx if you're not learning that uh, that track from the Lost Boys. Once again, wondering if I should be grabbing Black Lotus. So many shuffle effects for top. Just keep on, just keep on discarding Eldrazi. Why do my cards cost mana? My opponent can just tap their ring. That's what I want to know. I was hoping to find Council's Judgment in there, because then I could tap the top, draw the Council's Judgment. Black Lotus, Council's Judgment, the ring. I think I could probably just scoop here, huh? It's like early, but also like not early at all at the same time. Oh shit, what up? Hey, Questing Bay, thanks for 53 months. A wild sip to open the stream too. Oh yeah. Yeah, the draft portion is the best. Best for this one. Oh, 
Oh, you also have Black Lotus? I don't think we saw it. But yeah, at that spot in the end of game two, I was like, opponent's drawn into a deck that has a uh, time walk in it. I don't know. <laughs> this feeling, feeling like this is wrapped up. Uh, well, these are some good fucking cards. You could just slam Lelia here. What I want to do, though, is extrude or kill the Magda. Collect my value there. And then I'm going to spin top such so the next turn I can go Lilia serve and play my land off the top. And then every turn we can tap the top to make sure that we get car <coughs> cards. We had dazed here, I'll be so sad. Yeah, Top and Lily are sick together, huh? Oh, is that how you played Children? Gotcha. Yeah, I missed it. We were already deep in the game. Hell yeah, Ink PW. I, uh, the last time I streamed Blotro, I unlocked all the decks. I'm so glad that image is coming down now and not, uh, not in the sack. I mean, I could just absent it, Tom. Um, maybe that's correct. We'll see. I lose my top this way. I'm doing both things. I think that's fine though. Unless they have a counter spell, then I'd lose everything. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a turn. Which feels kind of cowardly. Cool. Glad I didn't go all in. We are indeed cooking. Yeah, we had some good ones. You think so, NBA Jam? I I don't know. I don't. I haven't uh, experienced anything like that. Maybe if there were like a lot of people reporting it. I think I've been Karn Kipathari. Yeah, humans are bad at that sort of thing, hum. A right, couple options on turn two. Tastes like honey. We were just talking about hot honey as a pizza topping. Hell yeah, Autumn. I'm with you.
We can tap the top to draw here to make sure that we get a card off Lelia, but then we have to like crack the treasure to play it. I think I'd prefer the treasure right now. Make sure I can complete this Athari next turn. Milwaukee hasn't sold out yet. Yeah. That is tempting. I watched a fan made video of these people that just like traveled across the US following King Gizzard. Looked like a lot of fun. Modern Deadheads. Uh, lava, maybe more coin. You want to play more artifacts? This is cryptic. Rude. Well, then put your thing on top of your deck. Wait, don't I have a rebel in my sideboard? I did not. I think I saw it doing the draft portion at one point. That fucking... Palantir, growing the construct out of extruder range. I already played my land for the turn. Maybe the plunder can just win. Wouldn't that be sick? Oh, yeah. What do you think, folks? Should we let them draw a card? No, do they have an answer? <laughs> do they have an answer to my 2 2? Okay. Rude. Generous Plunder can just make me a 3 3 every turn. And then we're going to have some of our own Saga tokens. Could be good. Will they have a draw 7? Or are they spinning there's a Echo? I think, I think a Scoop, right? Maybe? Well, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see what they do. They tap the construct. Sure, nice, it's fine. 
What if they forget to sack the treasure? You never know. Kind of looks like they're tapping more mana for a thing. Sure. Time walk. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm sitting here looking at my generous plunder like, yeah. <laughs> Lauren looks awesome against them. Kind of like Oust. I'm just going to submit them. Hmm. What if I just draw an Eldrazi next turn, huh? I guess turn two through the breach isn't the best. What's the plunder's pizza relation? It's generous. Generous toppings. Pizza toppings tip. Yeah, you said the word in the, the, the name that has the, the least to do with the pizza. Evening to you too, Chu. I to make a 3-3 three, three this turn, but I think I'll just do this. I wasn't expecting that one to resolve. I was expecting a remand, that's why I haven't reached yet. Seem. Oh, shit, what up? Hey, Captain Rat, thanks for the sub, thanks for 20 months there. lose this game because I played it too slow not just casting the damn you see what I mean like they draw seven me now I like lose my hand and I could have cast it through the breach earlier Was trying to play around the counter, but looks like I'm just going to lose because I was a coward. My sweet, sweet Breach Annihilator combo gone. Deserved L. Yeah, the whole time I was trying to test the water with Karn, when the Karn resolved, I was like, ah, oh, damn it. Maybe I should have gone ham a little earlier. Sure. At least they don't have Urza this time. I think our win rate here is borderline zero. Because they have the Echo to flashback too. They can't really go wrong. So even though we got a pair of 6-6s six here and some other stuff going on, I just don't think it matters very much. The Echo actually shovels the time walk back into their deck too.
Yeah, this is good enough for me. Damn. It appears as though pizza toppings, unlike soup, are not the meta for Vintage Cube. <laughs> this is good, though. This is good. We're getting a, a defined food metagame. What is more likely to 3 -0? What is more likely to 0 2 scrub? This is a lot of fun. Thanks again, Chai Digital. I'm going to do the old dropper as I tend to do at 0 and 2. <laughs> this is the day, the, the, the week old pizza we're finding on the floor. A smidge past the stale date. I think I'm done playing tonight, but I don't hate the idea of doing a draft.